I received an email from someone asking me how to uh, repair and replace T111 plywood siding and then I remembered I did a project I took some pictures of and figured this would be perfect I could uh, use these pictures make a pretty good video and of course help this gentleman out now what we're looking at here is the section after it has been repaired of course you can see there was a sliding glass door and it was removed and we're going to be installing a pop-out window and again I will walk you through the process but this first video is going to be about in installing the lathing paper or should I just say the siding paper building paper the paper that protects the um, interior and again the plywood is going to provide you with a lot of protection also um, after you paint it it's kind of like you're going to have two protective barriers the siding will be the first barrier of protection and then of course after that uh, you will have the building paper and again that's what this video is going to show you basically how to install the paper um, the protective paper and the window flashing paper. The first thing I want to do is put a layer of the window flashing paper and I believe this is Moist Stop is the manufacturer's name and uh, I think this is 12 inch paper by the way it's either 12 or 9 inch it might be 9 inch paper. Uh, this stuff is pretty pricey so uh, you might uh, might want to choose wisely when selecting it. Uh, I think uh, last time I bought a roll of the 12 inch it was like 45 bucks and again uh, don't quote me on that. Um, this is not necessary you could always double layer the bottom paper um, or use a, another layer of the black building paper and of course if you're using Tyvek or something like that a lot of times just one layer of Tyvek is sufficient um, even though this is the area that uh, is going to be the most susceptible to damage. The bottom of the siding and stucco seems to suffer the most. Do not forget to hold the paper down at least one inch below the sill um, or the top of the concrete foundation. And the siding, of course, will also be held down one inch to uh, help with the water rolling off. Now, something I'd like to point out is one of the reasons why I had to replace this siding is because they had the siding even with the top of the building foundation. And, of course, the water was rolling off of the bottom of the T111 plywood and then right into the building. And they did a variety of the wrong things to try and correct the problem. Um, now another reason you're probably looking why did I hold the paper over about another foot and it's it's uh, I stapled it to the plywood um, the existing plywood there on the left that's because the siding on that side is going to be coming off later and when it does of course I will simply staple the paper back here um, to the to the wood framing and um, extend the other paper my new paper on the other side over giving me the 12 inch slap that I need more on that in a little bit you can see right here where I have placed the first row of paper it's kind of self-explanatory you can look at the picture and kind of figure out what I'm doing and again if you don't have a um, pop out window here like we're doing you're not going to need to notch around it um, however I did need to notch around it and I went ahead and installed some additional window flashing just to get just to um, provide myself with a little more protection you really need to think when you're putting the paper on is that the water will be rolling off of one piece of paper onto the next piece of paper and you need to make sure everything is lapping um, correctly otherwise you're going to end up with water getting trapped in your house and basically working its way in so don't forget we're starting at the bottom and each paper each piece of building paper will lap on top of the lower one and that's exactly what we're doing here and you'll see a little more about it um, in the next uh, pictures now here's the lap I was referring to and you can see that I have the original building paper 
and of course they ran this um, vertically which we aren't doing here we are running ours horizontally unless of course we come to a section where we can have to be a small section um, so here we are lapping the paper 12 inches over the existing building paper to give us um, 12 inches is the minimum you can always go a little farther don't forget but this kind of gives us let's just say that water does roll off of one off of the edge of this paper then realistically the water would need to roll 12 inches back in the opposite direction behind it to actually start to do any damage and most of the time that isn't going to happen so it's 12 inches on the sides and two inches on the top uh, um, the at where the seams are and again you can always make them a little longer you just cannot make them shorter now here's what it looks like from the inside of the house uh, you can see the flashing paper the white flashing paper we installed first and of course the building paper that was installed over that um, now next up is the corner of the window and again if you're not going to be installing a uh, pop-out window like this you can ignore this but basically the uh, point of this right here the reason why I'm showing it is to provide you with the uh, way that I lap things you know I put the white flashing paper on first then I put an additional piece of building paper a short piece of building paper on and then of course the uh, building paper that went the full length on after that or and you can see here that everything is lapping as if the water that um, got sprayed on to the top would simply roll off all the way down and work its way down here's a full view of it and of course I ran the paper in the opposite direction here um, because I could otherwise I would have needed to put uh, two more pieces of paper on so if you can go for it if you can't then um, put it the other way and I know some people that won't ever change direction of the paper they will roll it all the same way and uh, if that's what you want to do go for it that, that's up to you here's what it looks like after it has been completed and I think the main point I'd like to make in this video when making any type of exterior repairs and installing the building paper Tyvek um, whatever you're going to be using is to keep in mind you know kind of look at it as if um, the water doesn't roll up it's always going to be rolling down at least for now that's how things work um, as far as the laws of physics go so anytime you lap something anytime you lap a piece of paper um, building paper flashing paper for a window try to keep that in mind and uh, you should be okay you shouldn't have any problems last but not least uh, you will install the plywood and of course you will want to try to start from the direction of the other pieces if possible um, in this case I lapped over the last piece of siding that was installed and I had the I left the joint um, as uh, as it was from the factory if you do need to make any cuts cut cut it and match it up as uh, best you can but uh, realistically this will be the last picture in the video um, you will installing the plywood siding isn't that difficult you will and I and I believe I stated this in the beginning of the video you will need to make sure that the bottom of the siding laps at least an inch below it is at, at least an inch below the bottom of the uh, top of the foundation I should say to make sure water doesn't roll back into the building 